Hello and welcome to my first look map tour of new Battle Shagan 2022 by Atsi Via. Now, new Battle Shagan 2022 is available on PC, Mac, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X and S. A little bit about the map. Welcome to new Battle Shagan 2022, a small town on Graubauler Bodden. All standard functions of FS22 are installed. There are 16 fields, a horse pasture, a pigsty, livestock trade, a multi-fruit silo, two courtyards, a BGA sawmill, restaurant, carpentry, oil mill, grain mill and spring mill, <laughs> spinning mill are built into the map uh, as cell points to help you with the production line. Now this map has already had a couple of updates to it before I've gotten to it. Um, I think they've added um, filling station markers, the horse pasture has been revisited, um, there's more decorative objects installed around the courtyard, some cosmetic corrections and the restaurant now accepts soybeans and milk. And on the map they should have or has also added a sugar factory. Now this uh, save was already installed before the update. I have done the update but I don't know if I should have done a new map to get those new features. So we'll see. So let's take a look at the new uh, Bartoshagen map itself. As you can see we start over here at the farmhouse. Yeah, the main um, farm court is here and you've got a secondary one here. Uh, the farm is quite spread out. I think if this is based on a real life um, agricultural area, um, which I would suggest it is, um, was it Grauber Bodden? Then this is probably how it is set up in the area. So it's uh, one big, probably industrial farm and they work the whole land. But if we have a look, you've got the farmhouse, you're, you've got a large pigsty here, your horse pasture is here, you have a lime station or a fill point there, the vehicle shop is next to that, and then we have a water tank, a fuel refill, petrol tank, a seed refill point, a liquid fertilizer refill point, a solid fertilizer refill point. And that's all at the main yard here. And then down at this secondary yard, the smaller yard, you have the herbicide fill point. Looks like you've got a couple of sheds there as well. So probably four sheds there, two sheds there. Now on the map, like it says, it does have features. We've got a restaurant down here, carpentry and oil mill over here. And then top right, you have got the farm silo, which is like quite a distance right to the side of the map. Uh, with the electric charging station, should you have electric vehicles? Then we've got the sawmill, uh, sawmill cell point, sawmill production, uh, the animal dealer. Uh, looks like the animal dealer cell point there. And then we have the animal dealer purchase there, uh, biogas plant, uh, the grain mill, and the spinnery. So I've not got the sugar factory. So this is an old version of the map. So if you're just now installing this, you have got a sugar factory. Now let's look at our lands. You start off owning where the, oh, that comes all in as one. So that is the owned farm land. You can't buy the town or the periphery as it were, or where the cell points are. You can buy the other bit. You don't own the second yard. That's a um, forty-two thousand. So that might be a purchase you want to do. You do only start with this one small field up here, which is two hundred and thirty-nine thousand. So it's two hundred and forty grand nearly. I say small. It might still be a good size because this is the whole map. And but that is the, uh, the one of the smaller fields. I think fifteen is a smaller field, but it's got a large bit of. Uh, woodland with it as well and you do own obviously where your silo is now if you're looking to expand 
and Dubai. Like we said, the smaller plot, uh, 160 grand. Another smallish one down here, 122. But then if we start to look at big plots, and I'm guessing three, five, and six, 1.3 million, 1.5, nearly 1.6 million, and 1.1 million. So that's not cheap. And you only start off with uh, this little plot of land to make that money. But you're going to get some good contracts out of this. If you do contracting, these look pretty much worker friendly as well. You could pick up a couple of contracts, set a worker, and uh, rake in that money. But before we head out and have a look at the map itself, let's uh, see what equipment we start with when starting on New Farmer. Under medium tractors, you have the one John Deere 7810. You do have the T560 John Deere Harvester, no doubt, with header and trailer. Vehicles, you start with the uh, 1986 pickup, the Velga DK11.5 trailer, the uh, 625X header for the uh, Harvester. You've got the RAB EG3-9 uh, cultivator. The HK25 plus NS3030 uh, Nordstein Cedar. The Deutschfahr. Oh, you've got the Deutschfahr header trailer. Unusual. And uh, two weights. Both 750. So that's what you start with. So it's a good job you only start with that small plot of land. <laughs> you've only got small equipment. So with our map up, let's head out and have a little look at what we have. These don't look like they are enterable buildings at all. No. Plus, I don't think we owned that bit. <laughs> Strangely enough. But we do have our pickup over here. The, uh, the American barn. As it were. And then over here, we have... Our pigs. Now, first off, just looking around, this map is extremely flat. Now, I believe this was in at least 17 and 19. I never played it. I never even looked at it. So I've got no sort of preconception of what this map should look like or did look like. But this is a flat map. Whether this is a flat part of Germany or Austria or wherever this is. I'm not sure, but that is extremely flat. Anyway, we have... Oh, we've got collectibles. They are there. Our pigsty. So you've got your feed. You can pop in there. And it holds 270 pigs, which is uh, quite a few. That's quite a few pigs. Get in, got a small little little bit with it. And I think that's generally it for a pig style. I think you have the uh, slurry come out this side. If you want manure, you'll have to place a manure extension, which, with how this land is, doesn't look like that would be too difficult. Stick one on the back, stick one uh, probably around here or, or anywhere nearby. As long as it's close by, you get some manure off this. Not too sure about this um, <laughs> this flooring. I don't know about you guys whether we'll see that it's not even. I'll tell you what, perhaps after a while you wouldn't notice it, but that that would bug me. This uh, cement tiles uh, flooring type thing. Now it looks like the other one is just over there, but we will head back and I shall uh, jump in our truck. A little hoop on the side if you want to play some b-ball oh man's got skills nope we'll leave that to those that can at your farmhouse sleep trigger over there what's in here oh we got another ball oh we got okay this is more me. 
<laughs> That's different. I'll give it that. If they reset every time you come in, that could be pretty fun. <laughs> Sorry, this is not what this video is about. Anyway, there's a collectible there as well. So collectibles are spread out around the map. Doesn't look like they're all bunched together like they are on some. So let us start this up. And we'll get going. So I've not got... Uh, let's have a little look. So if we head over to the... What is the second... Um, yard that you don't own. We'll have a little look at that. Then we'll head to the main yard. We'll head up north, go east, then shoot out west, take in those um, buy and sell points, and then drop down to the town. So I think I want to go right here. I mean, it's a nice little village. Looks very peaceful, very perfect ourselves in. So you got these nice big sheds here, which let's be honest, you can use without buying the land. You can still store your stuff here if you want. Nothing wrong in that. These are expensive, so that's pretty cool. Again, we've got, I guess the, uh, the cement slab flooring is um, used throughout. This is the herbicide refill point. Toilet. I do like these all have uh, these little doors on. Although I can't fit through it. Never mind. We'll, we'll have to use a big door. We can find one. There we go. Yeah, plenty of room, loads of storage. set up like this a little uh, workshop as well. I guess you could put a place oh there is, we've got a workshop so if you brought this one you would have a workshop although that may work without buying it as well, we we just got it to trigger so uh, seeing a reason why not we can get out this door oh we can get out, we just can't get in <laughs> we're one of those type of people <laughs> awkward so yeah, that is the, what is the secondary uh, yard. So we'll, uh, let's say we'll drive around. We'll go check out the main yard. We've got um, horses over there and the, uh, the store. We just pan out a bit just so we can see if it is as flat as it, as it looks. I think it is. It is as flat as it looks. We'll just jump out here, that's fine. Right, so this is your horse pen. Now this is not a plumbed in um, horse pen, so you will need to uh, bring water here. But you've got uh, feed here, water here, animals here. And that'll hold 15 horses, which is pretty generous, although I don't think horses pay out like they did before. I think it's about half of what you used to get in um, 19. I think they were just such an easy way of making money. Like, make 10 grand every every couple of days, pretty much. Um, the store, we'll just uh, we'll walk to the store, is here. Okay, so we've got some equipment here as well. So that's your lime. Refill by point. A little bit of equipment over here. For whatever reason. Plenty of grass though. In between here. You buy this up and plough that out. You have a nice meadow. And this is this works as your store. I take it. There is no store. Whether there was supposed to be a store or what. I don't know. But there isn't. This is just the store. works as it does. Um, 
we'll buy a little tractor. See where it spawns in. Right next to the other equipment. So I guess they're just going to fill up in a row. I get the feeling that these were added in <laughs> sort of as a last minute thing. It's like, oh, there's no... Uh, there's no header trailer or no cedar, and I think I might have forgotten a weight type thing. But there they are. And, uh, yeah, so that's where they spawn in. No problem. I guess they just get delivered. You order them and they get delivered there. But anyway, this is the main farm. Or the main yard. Here, I guess, is this... Bring up our info. That's not giving me anything. Just close gate. But I think that's supposed to be a workshop, and obviously it's not working as a workshop. Maybe that'll be fixed. Perhaps that's fixed in the update that I've not got installed. Add form. I only realised there was an update when I went to Mod Hub to give me the description to read off as my intro to see that there was an update. But yeah, it's got plenty of storage here. I think this opens up on the other side into a separate unit. Yeah. More collectibles, little office, hold your meetings, talk about what we're going to do with the farm. What crops to do next. Now, I think I've ran straight past it, but over here was the seed refill point. Our seeds, fuel, water, which you'll need for your horses across the road. Then in here we have a new storage space. In here we have liquid fertilizer refill. And we have another shed at the back. Our equipment has been parked nicely here for us, though, so that's good. And this, I believe, is the solid fertilizer refill point. Yeah, that's where we said that was. And then we have another big wooden barn. I like these barns. I do like them. Very nice. And here we have a, a floating collectible. I think some of this would have been fixed. So let's head back to the... Still can't get over the floor. I'm sorry, it does distract from me. i <laughs> staring at it. Um... Got some spare ones there if you've not got enough. <laughs> I, I think it would have been better off like that or just, I don't know, tarmac it. I think with floor like that, they've all been placed individually into the map, so they're going to affect performance. So, uh, I don't know. We'll uh, head up this way. Now that I've had issues just trying to get this map to load at times, so uh, that's why I only think about performance. I think I even had the FPS run in a minute ago. I'm not sure how long that was up for. Um, I only just noticed it, so I've, uh, I have taken that off. The FPS isn't great. Um, I can run... Some maps run perfect, and some maps seem to really struggle on the frame rate. I think on Carmsden run super smooth um, but here obviously they were struggling to get above 50 at times and on um, the old stream farm uh, I think I was struggling to, to get above 40 on there which is strange you know I've got a 38 Ti everything should be you know smooth 60 when locked at 60 so coming in scales as you come in there. This is like quite a big area. We'll jump out and walk around, do it justice. 
So here we have the spinnery. Buy there. Manage it from that point. And unload here. Pallet spawn over here. Got another weigh-in station. I guess you can come in from there as well. Out the back, we have two very large um, silage pits. They're massive. You could get some uh, grass and some chaff in there. Then the BG-8. So this is the, the one you buy and work and do. Purchase and manage there. Unload your digestate from there. Pump in whatever you're popping in there. And this one looks like a liquid unload as well. I believe. Or is that the fill? It's an unload. So it's a liquid unload. And here is where we're filling up. Sorry. I want to get that right. So let's digest eight. That's where you put your slurry in. That's where you manage it. That's where you put your solid in. Sorry, can't get it right. So what have we got in the middle here? Is this something or is this decoration? Looks like it could be something, don't it? Coulda, woulda, coulda. So it's just the fact a factory. Then over here we have a grain mill by the looks of it. Yep. So we empty here. Ah. Purchase and manage here. Unload here. Pallet spawn there. Over here we have our animal dealer, and this is where you purchase your animals. Big sty, horse. No, no cows, no sheep on the map. You can place them yourself if you so wish. It is uh, more expensive to order animals from the dealer and have them delivered. It will be a delivery cost, at the same as if you order straight from the pen. Um, it works out cheaper in the long run, I think, to uh, buy a trailer and collect them and drop them off yourself. I think this is just decoration here. I think this map offers the potential to do what you want with it. But I know it's set somewhere, but I, I highly doubt this is a realistic layout of the place. I think if we didn't have um, maybe some of the third-party American maps, this would definitely cater for those that are looking for a large open map to do um, big machinery. This is a big machinery map, which is absolutely fine. People like that. There's absolutely nothing wrong in that. I like this road texture. I mean, it's a little bit repetitive with the crack, but at least it's... It's nice, it's smooth, that's original. I mean, the uh, the concrete slabs are pretty original. I just... They're not they're not placed very... Uh, very equally and evenly. I think that's the thing that I don't like about that. I have to excuse my drive and I've not... Um, tuned my wheel in yet today. So then on our left, we have our next lot of um, points of interest. We'll park in the grass. Have a little wander. I like having a little walkabout. So over to our left, we have... Now this is the animal dealer... I want to say sell point, but this looks like... I know it is a sell point. Set an unload. That looks like it's just manure, though. 
Let's have a little look. I'm going to go in and see what it is we are selling here. That's some more than concrete slabs <laughs> up on end now. <laughs> so I've tagged it so you can see it there. It's showing green in the background. And at the animal dealer sell point, we they sell, or they're buying, as it were, um, grass, hay, and straw. Not the manure that it looks like. That's uh, just gone to the BGA. So at least now we know what's going here. Not obvious to look at, so I thought it was best to have a little look. So then next over... Honestly, I think the, the flooring is messing with my FPS. It's <laughs> this is sawmill. Uh, we have wood chip cell point and uh, oh, it feels awful. Awful to just walk across. I don't like it. And then the sawmill, um, sell your wood here, uh, trigger for that. Oh, well, that's the buying one. Okay, no, so trigger to purchase. So this must be triggered to sell here. Yep. And then uh, we have an unload here as well. So it's unload wood, sell it, purchase, manage, and then this is your um, planks. This is where that's going to produce pallets of planks or carpentry yeah I'm sorry I am right thrown off by this uh, them cement blocks I don't <laughs> I'm gonna lie I don't like it um, try to be impartial with stuff but yeah for me that's not a nice <laughs> nice feature it hurts my eyes as we go across it right yeah it's really nice tarmac and this nice road that would have been much nicer um, in these yards as well, or a different sort of gravel or something. Concrete slabs. They are. A, I bet they're asbestos as well. Can't even break them up and sell them. Speaking of which, is that a pile of them there? <laughs> right. Up here is the silo. The farm silo. Little, uh, Swing him. Have a little look around. We open her up. Storage up this end as well. And you own this land, so uh, you own this storage as you come in as well on New Farmer. If it weren't for this floor, I think I'd quite like it. So this is your empty here. Oh, you start with stuff. I think this is the first map I've come across where you have a silo at the start that has crops in it. So you start with 6,000 litres of silage, 5,000 litres of corn, 4,000 litres of soybean, 3,000 litres of canola, 3,000 litres of potatoes, and 1,000 litres of oats. So this is a multi-crop because it's got potatoes and silage in it. Maybe that's why you um, start with something there, so they can demonstrate that it has all that in there. And uh, this is where you unload. Nice feature. Multi-crop silo from the get-go. There's your uh, electric charge station. And another yard. So I guess you could come into this if you were to come on um, farm manager or start from scratch. Just buy up this plot, two nice big storage sheds and a silo. And work out of this like as a contractor, or as you could with the other um, large plots anyway. But this this has got the storage with it, which makes me think of that. Though I think they all lit up and came together, so uh, you might be able to scrap that. But yeah, nice. I, li I like that it's a multi crop silo. Yeah, that's cool. So then we want to take, we don't want to take, we want to go all the way back and then go, go back down again. So I think we might shoot, as we shoot across the top here, we might just have a little look in at field 12 just to see what sort of size it was. Well, this is why you have to tighten up your uh, dead zone in your centre spring. You just end up weaving everywhere. Um, yeah, in comparison. See, uh, see how big that is. So we've got to head that way. See, when people uh, 
mock me for not doing my uh, in cab and always doing out of cab. When you've got a map like this and it's not large overhanging trees, you can do it. This is a big field. <laughs> it's got that weird little tree strip in there just to cause you an annoyance, but you can soon get rid of that. But this is the field you start with. That's big. It's big for the equipment you start with as well. That little, uh, that little cedar cultivator combo. That's not bad. Right, so uh, we'll head back down into town. We'll take a left at the crossroad. And then uh, we'll take in the restaurant and a little look at the town down there. Now, I don't know how much of this has changed since um, 17 or 19. I'm sure I saw this in 17 and 19 uh, in, the, uh, in the map choice. So we want to go left here. Perhaps we'll try and get a scoop of how big the likes of field six and five are. Oh, took it out. Look at that. So field six, which was the second largest field, five was bigger. I mean, that's huge. That is absolutely huge. Sunflowers as well. <laughs> oh, dear least profitable crop in there. There's field two over here. Is that a bit, bit of wheat in there? It's quite pale. Could be soybeans. They often go very pale. Stop. So it's got some nice features. Uh, in the flyover, I've done a flyover, and the towns look, look nice as you come over them and I like the towns, I like stuff like that. It's just those, uh, even this bit of road here looks better. The uh, the other bits, the, the floor. And see, this dirt track is nicer than that concrete slab stuff. Much nicer. So here's your restaurant cell point. Unload there. A little look around, see if we can find another little collectible for you guys that like the collectibles. You'd have thunk there'd have been one. Perhaps you've really got a hunt for them. Nice restaurant. Very cool. But ultimately, that is the map. Oh no, it isn't the map. <gasps> Sacrilege. We missed a bit. We, I say we, I missed a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be a bit naughty. And uh, I'm going to shortcut it across field 10. And we'll jump into whatever it is that's over by number 15. Don't get many people do this on their map tours. Guess it's because other people think about what they're doing. <laughs> Not around here. You get too thrown off by the uh, by the flooring. Then we'll hop back onto the road and pretend like we arrived sensibly, because here we have the carpentry and the oil uh, mill. So you come in round on the left. We've got oh. I don't think that's well thought out. Just going to say, because you're going to have your your new oil spawn there that you've produced. You've got to unload it here, so you've got to go all the way round. And then either, if you've already got some like, spawned in, then back up and uh, come out again, or you've got to back yourself in, unload, and then drive out again. Uh, purchase and management point is there. Yeah, I think the uh, the drop-off would have been a little bit better somewhere else, maybe. What do I know? I've never made a map in my life. Um, carpentry purchase management point there. Uh, drop-off for your planks once you've produced them there. This is to sell. I guess you put the wood in there as well. I've not done carpentry yet. And here we have our finished produce spawn in here. 
And like I say, I don't have the sugar mill or the sugar factory. So I can't show you where that is. Um, I'll let you guys have a look and find that. But that is um, new Battle Shagan 2022. Hopefully you've enjoyed the tour. Um, I may have a little play around on it. I, I don't think so. I don't like... I'm not going to tell anyone not to. You, you guys can play and do what you like. I don't like that stuff as flooring. I don't like it. It puts me off. And uh, I feel like that's killing my frame rate. <laughs> it's hurting my eyes as I walk across it anyway. That's for certain. Anyway, uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this map tour. Hopefully it's been a little bit refreshing um, of a style than uh, maybe what some people do. So uh, if you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. If you are the maker of this map and you want to jump in on the comments and <laughs> bash me for not liking it, feel free. I am open to that. You have your say as much as I have my say. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Hopefully I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye. Don't go away just yet. I'm adding this in afterwards. I've decided I'm going to load in the latest update of the map and just check what the changes are there. So first off, I noticed that we have different equipment to start with. We now also have a John Deere 4755 in the tractor section. And we also have the Agromaz POV 5XL plow to start with. And as well as the, the Rabe cultivator, you also have the Agromaz Discaro the BTC 50H with a much larger 5 meter working width so that's uh, that's going to help out there and just so that you know the sugar mill has been placed in up at the top next to the animal dealer and the sawmill so I'm just going to quickly jump there and we can have a little look so as you came in off the main road there Sugar mill is bang in front of you. Um, just got the dirt tracks here, thankfully. And uh, so you've got the spawn point for sugar there. Around the back is the unload. Was I blind? I didn't see the... Ah, oh, the management part is here. So that's, uh, that's been added in. That's new. And uh, I believe it said horse pasture was uh, reworked or revisited, I believe was the term. So again, we shall quickly jump to the horses. Now, off the top of my head, I can't remember exactly what it was like. I think the tree in the middle and stuff is new. But it's still the same pasture. Um, drop your feed in there. Water there. Purchase there. I think it's been made slightly larger, hasn't it? Um, with a, a custom area. I think before it was just the square. And now uh, it's uh, an irregular shape. I'm just going to check the capacity C because I think it was 15 or 16. Let's have a look. It's still 15. And we'll have a little look at the farm itself and see if anything has changed there. Oh, your equipment's been brought over for you, so that's good. Got over in the John Deere and brought them over for you. <laughs> uh, stuff's been spread out a little bit. But yeah, I just want to try that in there. Oh, this flooring. I'm just going to bring up the FPS, see what's doing. It's just not good. Look at that, it just drops. You can feel it. Anyway, so they are the additions that have been added in post my uh, initial first look. Thanks for staying around. Bye.